Manchester United are trash. And if they don't change anything fast, this will be Ten Hag before the World Cup. Now I'm panicking. Yeah, don't panic. No, I am because I'm going to lose my job. But Welcome to the Football Report, where we recap the last week of football. If you enjoy, please like, comment and subscribe. What better time to start a football show than two weeks into the season? <coughs> Firstly, Brentford were class. They perfectly executed their game plan. But Manchester United made them look like Prime, Barcelona, MSM. This is the worst Man United team I've ever seen. I genuinely feel sorry for Eric Ten Hag. Whether you point at the board or the players, it's all rotten. The players reflect everything wrong with Manchester United at this point in time. When you're not playing well, you want to show that you can at least fight. At the very least, run. But they have no hunger. Rashford's been feeding them all. Speaking of Rashford, respect for what you've done off the pitch. But it's time to put the dinner lady outfit down and start putting some decent performances in. At what point do you stop saying this is form and just go, maybe this guy ain't it? It's been a very long time since I've seen Marcus Rashford have a good game for Manchester United. What sums this Man United team up is they can even make CR7, the greatest goal scorer of all time, look bad. Say no more. And Martinez didn't look like he had a good game either. Bruh. Chelsea and Spurs played out an absolute peach of a game. Best game of the season so far. I am a Chelsea fan, so I might be a bit biased. If you don't like it, kiss my ass. Chelsea were so much better than Spurs and definitely deserved to win. Spurs were nowhere to be seen. Harry Kane did more dribbling in his interview. Got <laughs> And Conte and Tuchel were having a great scrap. Things you love to see in a derby. A bit of emotion, a bit of passion. Shout out that random Indian guy, I bet he was happy. There is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression. If you missed it, Conte posted this on his Instagram and Tuchel was flexing in his interview too. Two class managers going at it. Things you love to see. I think what Tuchel and Chelsea showed is that you can't underestimate us. Too many people have just been dismissing us from the top four. When if you look at that game, Spurs look like same old Spurs. Although, despite the great new signings, Sterling played well. Koulibaly scored an absolute screamer. Starting to really fall in love with that man. Ha! <laughs> we still need a strike. I was watching all of these crosses come in, particularly in the first half and just thinking Sterling ain't gonna get there. And it's not his fault. I struggle in the height department too. I think we have put in a 40 million bid for Gordon from Everton. I don't think that's the end of the world for us like people are making out. I think that's a decent signing. He's young and he's English. I think it's more of an issue for Everton. He seems to be the only shining light for them at the moment. Apparently we are gonna be going for a striker. Obama who? Obama what? Obama black lion! Now let's talk about Spurs' celebration. Let me say something first. Fair enough, you took a point from Chelsea, you scored in the last minute at the bridge to make it 2 all in a big derby game. <laughs> this is only funny because it's Spurs. I hate to break it to you, but it's a new player who's just come into Spurs and he's celebrating like he's won a trophy. Because he knows he ain't going to win one, so he may as well take the wins where he can. Even though he didn't win. It's not fair, I genuinely feel a bit sorry for the Spurs fans, but... It's true. Arsenal are looking really dangerous this season. The long-term vision is starting to pay off. Arteta got rid of a lot of shit and he's made some ballsy decisions. For example, with Aubameyang. Obama who? But I rate him. He's backed himself. And like I said, it seems to be starting to pay dividends. Jesus is living up to his name. It's a great start to the season. The only thing is, because it's Arsenal, you just don't believe that they can sustain this and win the league. So you are. You're a fool, mate. So you're an idiot. Dumb you are. You moron. Despite Haaland having a Lukaku-like performance with only two passes, City still managed to win 4-0. It doesn't even feel like they've got out of second gear, which is quite scary. The thing is with Haaland, even if he plays bad, he's still got an assist. The fact is he drags players to him. In order to deal with him, you might need to double up, which creates space. And I don't think there's a more deadly team on the planet right now when they get given a bit of space. So with that being said, I think they are still favourites to win the league. All four fans of theirs must be buzzing. Liverpool drew again, this time against Crystal Palace. Palace did what they needed to do, sat back, dug deep and broke with players like Zaha. It's hard to contain them when they're on the break. Nunes with a big fat L on his Anfield debut. Headbutt, red card, stupid, stupid decision. What he should have done, it just pulled his hair. Because that's what you can do, isn't that right, Anthony Taylor? 
you prick. Although Luis Diaz scored an absolute screamer to get Liverpool back into the game. And then it was really impressive the way Liverpool managed to sustain the way they were playing, even with 10 men. I think the only slightly negative thing that Palace could take from that game is could they have pushed on and scored again. Although Zaha did hit the post when he should have scored. But again, a point at Anfield. That's a dub. Liverpool are playing Manchester United next. Which again, please. <laughs> and it's on a Monday, so they get an extra day off. Honestly, this guy is an incredible manager, but his excuses. I promise you, at some point in the season, this guy is going to be talking about star signs. They, they all have different traits and different flipping likes and different flipping. You're a donut. You're so stupid. I want to create a community where we can talk in the comments whether you agree or disagree. Just let me know. Football Report's going to be coming out every Monday. I know it's come out on a Tuesday. It's because yesterday I was feeling depressed. If you are struggling with your mental health... Kill yourself! <laughs> no, don't do that. Just drop me a message on Instagram. I'll leave it here. There, I'll leave it there. See you next week.